Yo, 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 my game musicians out there, this is the Obnoxious Zobo, double O, sharp retort, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon... Or Gold and Soul Silver, yeah, we're playing that, totally. This definitely looks like the DS. We're definitely dealing with DS graphic. But anyway, we're back in Artisan. The old best theme in the game, so far. And with the... with Paridon, it makes the music even better. Or maybe not. It's still probably the best music in the in the game, though, by far. But anyway, in this episode, I am going to actually deviate from going to... What's the next gym town? Let me see. I'm trying to remember the names. They're not quite memorable, memorable just yet. Yeah, it looks like Lavincia Gym. Okay, so Lavincia will be... Shifting from Lavincia right now to the fire crew base, which is not that far from here. So we're just basically going to shift. We're going to change gears right now and go in in a different direction. So we'll just do that in this episode here and battle more trainers along the way. I am guessing. Yep. Yay! You came. So want to battle once again with the with the underdeveloped kindergarten language because people. These people have not refined their their key pronunciations yet. Even though you can probably say the same thing for me because a lot of times I stutter on the T's. I don't know why, but it's I guess it's just how I was born, or or you know, it's how my brain has developed over the years. I've just I have tripped a lot more on my S's and T's, actually on the hard consonants for that matter. Uh, Warrior Seed. Which I know, which is kind of the reason why speech language pathologists suggest if you're doing fluency shaping, fluency shaping technique to do what is called light contact, in which you're kind of briefly touching the teeth, like while doing this. Yeah, like like that. It's basically like doing that. It's a little bit. It's it it relieves the tension in a way when you're producing the hard harder consonants, but at the same time you're. It does sound a little bit unnatural. Um, here though, uh, causes worry. Find it on the target. Ah, uh, nah. <laughs> I don't know if I really want to make my poke make my opponent's Pokemon all worried and whatnot. I mean, it may be a good status-inducing move, but it seems a little bit. It's the the whole purpose seems a little bit weird when someone. Says something that gets your attention. You just gotta talk to them, right? Yep. You just gotta talk to them and just find out what's wrong. What's the matter? Okay, what exactly is going on here? Oh, you're... Are you the Evolve form? Or are you just a regular plop? You're just a regular plop. Well, since you're a rock type, I might as well just grind up some experience with how all of this. Might as well. And I see Growl up there. I see Growl up in the distance. I'll be catching you next. Yep, that's right. Come on. You, ye hound. You. You are going to be in the ball. <laughs> ye hound you. <laughs> That'll be my new nickname for you. Just ye hound you. Except that you're not going to be a part of the orchestra. You're just going to be part of the second string of of my secret society of delinquents. Uh, but whatever, I'll, I'll catch you anyway with the last Pokeball that I have. I need to also remind myself to catch more Great Ball, but I keep forgetting to do that. And not to mention that I've become a kind of a hoarder as of late when it comes to my items. I probably shouldn't because I probably should be using some of these at my disposal. Anyway, Growlithe is, yeah, it's it's a Kanto Pokemon. It's definitely that. It evolves into Arcanine via Firestone, and we'll be just putting this away in the random bed. The random bed. We'll just go with that. The random bed. Bed where we bid. Where we bid for more. And did you know that this music sounds awfully boring? I mean, it may sound kind of pretty if you're in a nightclub, but we'll just do this. Yeah, 
And I kind of wish that this game... Another, another problem that I have... See... A lot of people so far have been complaining about the how glitchy the game has been, which, understandably, I've, I've detected a few glitches here and there, especially with the ball levitating in midair like that. I don't know why they, they do that, but... Another thing I have a problem with is, while I do like this music too, I kind of wish they upped some of the routes a little bit, just some of the route music, like what they, what they did with both Gens 3 and 4. Well, actually, with all the gens from gen 1 onwards i mean they've made the gen they've made the route music even better as you progress so yeah i kind of wish they kind of made some variance on the route music rather than just one particular track because just hearing the same very tranquil soft rock track and and this the kind of the adventurous lighthearted optimistic looking optimistic sounding track is it gets pretty monotonous after a while i kind of wish a I, I i hope it gets better as time goes by but so far though it just kind of seems a little bit boring okay i've already talked to you this is artisan so we we need to go the other way then awesome knack lee get out of my way yeah bada bing bada boom artisan just over the hill and i think we need to go talk to you there Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I'm going the wrong way. Apparently, I am just kind of going the, the wrong way here. Wait, what's over here? Ah! Yeah, the good thing I don't take fall damage, unlike in Legends Arceus. If I'd actually jumped from that great a distance, I probably would have fainted and lost a lot of my items. That wouldn't have been a good, good experience for me. Okay, here's the windmill. This looks like Kakariko Village, and I keep hitting the wrong button as always. Muscle memory. Okay, so I think we have to go this way? I think there's a way to go over here, right? Just over here to the fire base. Yeah, this is uh, this is where we need to go. I think. Am I going the right way? I better be going the right way. Because otherwise I'll probably have a fit. Okay, I think we're I think we're going the right way. Are we going the right way? No, apparently not, because I can't really go anywhere here. Oh, wait, here we go. This is, this is something different. Hey, it's raining again. It looks like the sky is clouding up. Terrific. I'll deal with some more rainy atmosphere. Okay, is that a braviary? That definitely looks like... I mean, that's probably not a braviary, per se, but we can probably... No, I did not want to catch a brickety again. I've already caught you. I don't need to catch you again. I wanted to catch your mama. Where did your mama go? There is your mama. There we go. Now we can try to catch you. Yeah, Corvus Choir, and then it evolves to Braviary. Oh, yeah, Braviary. I'm trying to remember the, the line. we attack and no, I'm just kidding. Huh. As opposed to we swipes. Munch 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 crunch 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 your big off. And now will the minster on the gallery catch you successfully without any sort of issue? Let's see. Good. Very good. We'll go with that. Nope. No, I am not going to give you a nickname because you're not going to be a part of the orchestra. Instead, I'm just going to... What? 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 No. No, 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 no. I defeated your mama. I'm going to go. I'm going to leave. I'm going to evacuate. 
I'm just simply gonna leave. Get on my way. Okay. Oh! Have I caught this Oricorio? I know I've caught one variant. I don't know if I've caught this one, though. Have I? Uh, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure if I have. Okay, doll. Okay, I'm gonna have to check my Pokédex here really quickly. Actually, you know, I can always check my boxes. That's probably another be better idea. That's probably a better idea is to check the boxes and see if. Yeah, I've caught. I've already caught this variant of Oricorio. I have probably six more to catch. No! Get out of my way! No! You guys get out of my frickin' way! Do you guys really want a pawn to the rook? <laughs> a pawn to the rook. Get it because I just battled a pawn yard not too long ago? Okay, well... Oh, well, there's our next destination. It's all the way over there, but... Now the question is, is how do we... How do we get over here? I'm apparently going in the right direction. But do I have to leap 50,000 feet just to get there? Ah, there it is! There it is! It's right over there. I'm ready to ambush it. I'm ready to ambush it from atop this canyon. Or somehow. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's you, Obo. I'm loving this music here, too. It just sounds very Dragnet slash Manix-like. It's just like a blend of that. For the second time, I'm not Director Clavel. Director Clavel? Like I said before, the name's Clive. Please don't forget it. No, I'm, I, just, I was just trying to blow your cover there, Headmaster. Anyway, Obo, I owe you one. Thanks to you, I've been accepted into Operation Starfall. It's your endgame. I need answers, that's all. How do I resolve this situation with Team Star? And what's causing its members odd behavior? Uh... Odd behavior. Team Star is the subject of more than a few nasty... Nasty rumors swirling around the Academy, you know. The Academy, you know. Some say their bullying has caused a worrying number of students to drop out of school. Well, yeah, I mean, this these are obviously the rebellious type. They're the crowd that you shouldn't... They're the archetypal crowd that you shouldn't join in high school. <laughs> Just a bunch of emos and punks and wankers. Other, others say they're holed up in their bases, plotting to cause trouble for the Academy. These are rumors. The matter I am directly confronted with it's something else. I'm talking about Team Star's persistent truancy. Yeah, because again, they're the rebels. They they cut class and they like doing drugs and stuff. They've all been skipping class for a while now. Five of them, in particular, the so-called bosses. Bosses. One of them I ousted in the last episode of Team Star. Haven't so much as set foot inside a classroom for over a year. And it seems the team's rank and file have recently started stirring up mischief as well. As I've seen. That's why I took it upon myself to issue a direct order to Team Star to disband. I informed them that should they refuse, I would have no choice but to expel all students affiliated with their team. Mm -hmm. But I'm afraid there has been no response, and the deadline I set for them to make their choice between disillusion or expulsion is nigh upon us. It's all an eye. So you see, when I overheard you talking on the phone to Cassiopeia, it couldn't have come at a more crucial time, so you just kind of took this opportunity to dress, dress, dress yourself in this pompadour outfit and just look like some kind of... some kind of... detective from American Graffiti or something. <laughs> it's Cassiopeia. Can you hear me? You're not, you're not off the hook either, Clive. Don't run. Well, no, never mind. I guess you're gonna run from the scene. 
I see her coming up to one of Team Star's bases. Was there someone with you just now? It's just me. Well, be warned that Team Star will have its guard up after losing one boss to you already. I'm aware of that, so... This base won't go down as easily as the last one. Well, I think this one might. Proceed with extreme caution. I will be in touch. Yeah, here we go. Here comes round two. Round two, and I think this may be slightly harder than the last one, but it's going to be pretty much probably the same level of difficulty. So let's just let's just get this one over with too, and we'll just go on a on a rampage. Simply go on a rampage here. Make no ands, ifs, or buts about it. Whoa, whoa, he can't be here. This base belongs to Team Star. If you don't clear out real quick, like, I'll have to come at you in self-defense. You got me? I'm not turning back. No, I am absolutely defiant. I'm just as, I'm just as defiant as, as you guys. Well, all right, time for me to self-defense. The snot right... Oh, yeah. Not... Yeah, it's not the defense. That, talk about a verb there. Talk about verb usage for that word, snot. No, I think you're going to be the one who's going to get snotted out. Hound hour. And guess what? I have the wrong Pokemon for this. Okay, let's... Level 25! Okay, uh... I might have to abort. <laughs> I guess we'll find out, though. Or, or maybe not. Come on out, Sylveon. Come on out, and not this Hound Hour right off the battlefield. If you stop using primer moves like Roar, of course. Okay, Porco it is, or... Yeah, or, or Wilbur! Yeah, and guess what? I have Dig, so, ha, let's see if you can top that. So, yeah, I think you made your fatal mistake in using Roar there, buddy. There we go. Awesome. What? Oh. White screen. Sure. Um. Sand. Yeah, I'm not going to use Sand Attack anyway. I defended myself, all right. But it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough to garner enough biscuits in me. Or enough biscuits in me. Man, you're crazy strong. You're crazy. As, you're crazy as strong to butter up the the pancake in my in my stove in my lap. I don't know. In my lap. Wait, are you that kid who declared war on Team Star? Yes, I am. Call me Yobo. Whoa! Thanks for the terrible news. Be afraid, be afraid, the ten-year-old is gonna be burning this whole base to the ground here. Be afraid! Excuse me while I book it back for the rest of my crew. I'm gonna book it, Dano. Hasta la vista! I still hate that pun. Hey, Obo, I see what you did back there. I'm trying to maneuver around a primer move. Cassiopeia told me to scope out the fire crew's base, so she did know that I was talking to you. I thought I'd come give you some backup now that I'm through. It seems you're all set. It does seem so, yeah. Oof, oof. What? What is going on now? Oh, hello, random. Yeah, I, I remember catching you, or rather getting you from... Yeah, Charlos. I remember getting you from that giveaway that Blaine was doing. Whoa! I thought so. What are you doing here? Do you know this little fella? This is Carlos, the Tarkadet. Yeah, yeah, Tarkadet. Boom! Problem! He's one of the Pokemon the Academy takes care of within its grounds. And it's being impulsive. Ah, Carlos, wait! He ran off. And yeah, the little hip squeak. It seems like he may have some connection to Team Star's fire crew. I better chase after him. Don't worry, I'll regroup with you soon enough. You press ahead into the base, Obo. 
I that I'll do. I'll definitely do. I see a doubt with a grunt standing guard. Nice work. I'm now talking even more robotic than ever. Stationed inside that base is Team Star's fire crew. The Gidar Squad, or Peter, Shedar, Shedar, the Shedar Squad. Skedar, I'll just, I'll just call it Skedar, even though I don't think that's how you pronounce that in Spanish. It's amazing, too, because I've, I've taken about four years of Spanish. Three years in high school and one in college. So I should know that dip long. Anyway, um, their boss, Mela, is the best all-rounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her... Yeah, it's not a dip long. Never mind. It's just a pronounce... It's just a phonetic. Um, though her methods are heavy-handed. Our declaration of war must have made her blood boil. It must have. It must have made her so angry. I bet even now her grunts are hard at work inside the base, trying to keep her fury under control. Her that means her best move is to take down all the grunts nice and quick with her own. Once there is no one left to help Mela keep her cool, she should come out to confront you. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase with the operation. Time to wipe the Skadar squad off the map. Or Shadar. I think I'm gonna go with Shadar. Why not? It may be incorrect, I don't know, but this is not an English lesson. And I need to remember to put Pokemon in the boxes. In the bed. I'm gonna put you back in the bed. Hey, Corvus Squire. Did you hear me? You're going in bed, fella. In the bed, little, little fella. As well as my controller here, I'm going to put you to bed. Okay. Thank you. Maybe. Are we going to calibrate? Are we going to calibrate? Are we going to calibrate? Okay, looks like we're calibrated now. Jeez. I've got to keep a close eye out on my con on my con controller too. Because otherwise I might ha have problems like these ensuing, which I don't want. C? I heard on the T is T is apparently a, a very difficult consonant for me. I don't know why. I never had this much trouble in elementary school either. It just kind of developed. It, 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 it. There's another hard hard consonant there that that, that developed after sixth grade. And because of this, I keep tripping on well, not just stuttering, but also tripping over my hard consonants. Just the first hard consonant of. D's or T's or whatever. And even sometimes R's and W's. And I sometimes wonder if I actually have a... Well, I mean, I don't have too much of eroticism, but... I do occasionally, accidentally, pronounce my R's as W's for whatever reason. Because my brain doesn't want me to be smart. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, let's just set up a picnic right here. Just a couple of inches away from the base. Why not? Okay, so for this one, I think I'm going to be setting Mufasa aside, and I'm going to be... No! I think what I'm going to be doing here is... Um, I'm going to be moving you to the back this time, and Eddie Murphy, Wilbur, and Minna are going to be my soloists for this base, so... That might make things a lot easier. There we go. And I'm kind of curious, do I gain experience from battling all 30 Pokemon before facing the boss? Is that how this works? Are we following the same drill as before? <laughs> Some kid lucked out beating one of our sister squads, and now he thinks he can take us on. Time to give him the boost. Or, or rather, the boot gang. Let's show this Gatecrasher what Team Star can do. And if you're listening, Gatecrasher, know this. Unless you can beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss won't let the finger the deal with the likes of you. Yeah, we'll see about that. Well, I'm pretty sure I can, especially with the likes of my Pokemon. So, these three Pokemon, right? Should be. Okay. Well, anyway, I should probably heal my Pokemon up, too. Why not? Okay, here we go. Come on, let's get some. Come 
Awesome. You guys need to get out of our way. Wow, that was easy. We're just really breaching through the lines, aren't we? Defeating, just, in, just basically dousing all these fire types. And we got some more Pokemon up here in the grass. More Hound Hour to defeat. Okay, that's good. Anyone else down here? Ah, hey, hello. You guys are also going to be meeting the same face as your other camaraderie. Your comrades. Terrific. Got Nubbo too, huh? Well, guess what? Pickle, 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 pickle. Your heads are going to be chopped off. Yay. Oh. Well, here we go. We got three more Pokemon to deal with. We're getting very close. So close. One more here. Well, there we go then. Again in two minutes. Maybe not the same record. I probably didn't beat the record, but it was still within two minutes. Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the box now. Yep. You'll be dealing with the likes with me here. Let me just meet the Firebrand herself with another glamorous entrance. Yeah, she's just going all out in style here. Wow, I mean, are these guys just made of money or something? Oh my, oh my goodness gracious, you look like a red-headed Joan Jet. My goodness gracious. You look like just kind of a mix of Lionel and Joan Jet. So you're the dope who picked the fight with Team Star. I don't know why you'd do something so stupid and I don't care. You challenged us so we'll beat you down, that's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. Now pre you prepare to get messed up and prepare for an earthquake that you you'll never forget with your with your vehicle there. Your RV is gonna gonna see a toppling. Ah! I'm so angry. I'm Mela. I'm so angry. There's a turtle. Eddie Murphy, take the stupid turtle down. Right here, right now. You're going down. Uh, I think you're the one who's going to be going down, sister. Oh no, not sunny day! Oh boy, it's going to get even harder. Uh, I don't really care. Because guess what? You're going down. You're definitely going down with my with my fist of cuffs. I'm right now punching my 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 palms right now. Don't you dare be doing this either, controller, please. It is going to be doing this. Oh my god. Okay, let me just. Sit on the floor. Charge us up. Okay, are you gonna shut up? This move will torch you out until there ain't nothing but you left. Prime wheel. Okay. That was the rest of the Zadar squad. Uh, here we go. One more, one more to do it. Ah, you, you got your now even slower. Good. There goes your first Pokemon. You have another one, or are you gonna unleash your car here? Yep, you're gonna send you're gonna send out your car. Apparently, I ain't burned to a crisp just yet. Okay, are you gonna outspeed me here? Okay, gives me an opportunity to use a super potion. So I should probably do that right now before I regret it.
Fantastic. Overheat? Seriously? Ouch. Well, oh my god, okay, well, this may be bad. I guess we'll see, though. Yeah, this may be bad. I might have to, I might have to revive you. Mm. Yeah, that was that was kind of that was kind of bad. Well, anyway, I'll send out my I'll send out my next big gun here. Maybe pretty slow, but I can still probably deal with deal with one dig or something. Blazing torque. Okay. Go did with plenty of damage there. It better not have it better not have re resistance to to ground type move either. Jeez, that was it. Holy moly! That was that was that seriously it? Mm. Ouch! Oh my god! This is gonna make me a lot more uneasy with that with that speed boost. Okay, well, yep, anyway, I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna use a... Yeah, I'm gonna use a Super Potion right here. And I'm gonna be pretty soon reviving my Mudbray, because Mudbray is pretty much the the brains of the outfit here. I, I need him. Ouch. Okay, so we'll, we'll deal with Dick again. <laughs> I can probably try to go another hit. Nope, I can't, apparently. Well, it looks like I'll have to revive both you and, and Mudbray, but especially Mudbray. Ouch, okay, that actually wasn't too bad, but yeah, well, I could probably use one light screen in or something. Ouch. Okay, now we can probably, I'm, I'm just going to use Midna as a pincushion, why not? So then I can heal my Eddie, heal Eddie Murphy back up. Jeez. How much fuel does this guy take? Oh my god. Or rather, does Gal take? It takes up quite a bit, I can tell you that one. Okay, so yeah, let's try this again. Greet. Seriously? Well, yeah, you got my physical defense, but not my special. Okay. There we go. Now I can probably... Oh! Yeah, it doesn't really matter anyway, because that's your ability as your speed boost. Uh, 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 ouch! Ouch! Okay, this is it. Hmm... I have no idea. I have no idea if this is going to work or not, but we'll just see. <clears throat> it 
Okay, good. I guess. Doesn't. Oh, well, now it no longer matters since I'm burned. I'm burned to the face. Ah. Uh... Oh, well, that's great. Okay, well, yeah. Oh boy, how many more super potions am I gonna be wasting here? Yeah, these are these have become a little bit more difficult. Okay. How much? Okay, that wasn't as bad. The so hopefully one more should do it. One more, please. One more. One more. Thank you. There we go. That did it. Oh, what, what, what? Seriously? How much more do you have there? You just have a little slither of health left. Oh my god. What the hell is this? I, I call shenanigans on this one. Oh my lord. Oh my Gengar. What on earth? How are you still hanging on? I, I have no idea. Actually, I don't know how I'm still hanging on. I'm just hanging on by the skin of my teeth. Hey, one more should do it, please. One more. No, of course they had to use something like overheat. Which that, which thanks, thanks to Damina, my defense has greatly risen. So I'm very glad I hung on here strategically. Okay, there we go. That was, that was actually kind of a close one. Oh my god. Yeah, I kind of hung on there. That was that was something. As I touch my mic. Ugh, is this really how it's going to end? What a hassle. In the castle. About a year and a half ago, here's my backstory. Man, what a hassle. Wow, had to say that line twice. Put it off just in time. Welcome back, Millie. I managed to get a bunch of Tarkadet to evolve. That ought to be enough to power the Starmobile and finally get that hunk of metal rolling. Glad tidings indeed. Glad tidings. Is it not so, Ortega? I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. Oh, shut it with the snide comments. Did you know that those are misogynistic? You can be such an annoying warp, you know that? Yeah. As if you're any better, Mela. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not me, Ordy. The girls at the Academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. She just puts on a surly attitude slash act, so they'll stop picking on her. Although, I guess you're not wrong to say that her surly attitude is what people know her for. What? Come on, not you too, Eri. How about we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, exactly, the bonfire. Yes, Operation Star, it's finally happening. And the big boss, what? Cray is her plan. They already got in touch with all the bullies and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm so stoked. The thrill is burning me up right up. Oh, there we go. There is your story. I burned through everything I had. And now I've sputtered out. Yes, this is where it ends. That mud bray of yours really let us have it. Yeah, somehow. My mud bray was kind of a trooper. It fell, it fell initially, but because of stamina, I greatly made it into a, an all-out tank. <laughs> Beating me in battle is a huge deal. So here, pick the star badge and be proud of yourself. Cool, thank you, hottie. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely keeping this for the books. Oh my god. While I'm at it, you can have the TM2. Not like I'm going to use it. Flame charge, okay. I'll take it. Let me make one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving them to your Mudbray. Even if my Mudbray can't learn it. You got what you came for. Now leave me alone. You're made up from Team Star, right? 
There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Huh? Where are you supposed to be? Don't you recognize him? A Charcadet. Wait. Well, if it ain't Charlos, what are you doing here? Ah, it seems he came to this base looking for you. You did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I could even tell more or less what he is thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. Do you have any idea why Charles wanted to visit you? Boom! Boom! Ha! Boom! Charles. To me, it looks like he is saying that he wants you to come back. Just shut it already, would you? They say Team Star has hold itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? First, I've heard of a stupid rumor like that. Man, nothing's changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. And what about that modified car you were motorizing around in just now? The Starmobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us out with a big fight. Yes, and running Pokemon over. We're treating them like roadkill. But we never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. You never used it before? And what's this about a big fight? You ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star? Not Operation Star Fall? No, this is the first time hearing of it. Huh? Yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me and the rest of Team Star, it's a memory we'll always treasure. Great. Great. And that is that. Uh oh, what now? Oh, Bo, it's me. What do you want? I take it that Mela Star Badge is now in your possession? Yes. I see. Now that there is no boss to lead them, the rest of the. Radar squad shouldn't last long. Mela. Sorry, I got distracted for a second there again. Now about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Yay! Please give me some more credit. Here's those new TMs to strengthen your Pokemon even further. Yay. I'll have my supply unit rep meet you shortly to deliver some bonus materials to... Yay. We get to meet the same redhead. As my hand breaks out. And I have to lick my wound. And hello, it's me again from the supply unit. Wow, what the heck? Why'd you come out? Hey, stop that, even though I'm licking the air. S somebody help! I'm li- The Karadon's licking the air, though. That was kind of funny. Yay for glitchiness! <laughs> yeah, it drooled all over me. What even is that Pokemon, anyway? I have no idea, either. It's really awesome. Er, I guess that's one word for it. Wait, is it really that special? Uh, um, but before I forget, here's your reward. Cool. Got some more materials out of this. Um, your name's Zobo, right? Since you're part of Operation Starfall's battle unit, can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? Yeah, they're pretty strong, I guess. Interesting. You know, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying. Ah, really? Or they just found it hard to interact with people, so they just kind of grouped together and formed a bonding that way. But then these mi misfits and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team Star. All they wanted to do was pu push back against the bullies they couldn't face alone. But, uh, that's just info I got by backing other students' social media accounts. I also found talk about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses. Someone who recruited them to the team in the first place. Hmm, I don't normally talk this much. Now my throat kind of hurts. 
So, um, good luck with taking down the other bases and stuff. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Um, yeah, but yeah, there we go. And let me guess, the music's gonna slow down now. Maybe not. Okay, there's a Pokemon Center up ahead, thank goodness. Might as well, since we're kind of on route to... Now! Wait, wait, where are you? Okay, you look brand new. Uh, Cyclazar. Oh, okay. Um... I guess I'll use a double kick or something. And then I lose to a Cyclazar and everything's all sad. Seriously? I don't know if I'm ready for this. Can I run? Seriously? Come on. Can I run, please? Can I please run? Can I please run? No, I, I bet you anything my Pokemon's gonna faint. Or not. Fine, Here, here's what I'm gonna do. Come on now, Concert Master, and we'll handle this my own way. Oh yay, thank you for taunting me. As if that's gonna really make things any better for you. Okay, well let's try... let's try this now. Okay, there we go. Such a little, little run. I do like that Bright Lights big city there in the background. I mean, that's our next city, am I right? Dragon normal, huh? Hmm, kind of tempting here. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to actually add you to the orchestra here, but I guess we'll see. Okay, now it's next. I guess I'll be moving you into the bed. Awesome. Well, there we go. And now let's hurry to the Pokemon Center without delay. Let's hurry, hurry, hurry. Yep, I had to talk to you behind my back, so yeah, I, I do need to heal my Pokemon up very quickly. I really do need to heal my Pokemon up very, very quickly. And put my Concert Master back up on top for a chair. Yep. Thank you. I should probably also spend some more money on Pokeballs. But yeah, anyway. I think right now we're going to just leave it here. Um, next time on Pokemon Scarlet, we'll be going all the way to the the big city up ahead. I'm guessing that's supposed to represent Madrid. I don't know. Maybe Mizagoza is supposed to do that, but with those skyscrapers in the background, that is kind of telling me that that's our next guide to civilization. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you next time. I know this was a little bit of a long one, but we'll just have to deal with it that, that, that way. 